seventh day of Techmas. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a Microsoft Office document through the Office 365 online portal. The first thing you will need to do is to navigate to login.microsoftonline.com. Your username will be your Greencastle email address, and your password will be your universal Greencastle password. You can see that I've already navigated there. The process I'm going to show you works for a Word document, but it will also work for an Excel or a PowerPoint document. Again, I'm going to create a Word document, so I'm going to click on Word. Once Word loads, you're going to select New Blank Document. It will take just a moment for that document to load. Again, the advantage of creating a Microsoft Office document this way is that it is literally impossible to lose the document unless you delete it. So this eliminates the problem of students losing a document because it is always saved and is always backed up to their OneDrive where it is located at all times. Once the document has loaded, there are a number of tasks you need to complete in order to successfully complete the Techmas challenge. The first of those is to put a title. So I'm just going to type, this is the title of my document. And then I'm going to left click, drag, and hold down on that. I'm going to select the style. And on the drop down, I'm going to select title so that it actually is identified as a title within the text of my document. I then must align this so it's aligned in the center. So I'm going to select alignment, text alignment, and then I'm going to select center. After that, I can press enter a couple of times to get myself some more space to work with. Again, notice it reverts back to the default style after you enter off of the first row. The next thing you need to do is to create a link to the GCSC technology integration page. So I'm just going to type, this is a link to the GCSC technology integration page. And I'm going to go to insert, the insert tab, and I'm going to left click, drag and hold down and select link. It's careful not to get any spaces before or after that. And then I'm going to locate the GCSC technology integration site. I'm going to highlight that web address. I'm going to right click on it and copy. I'm then going to go back to my document. I'm going to select link. And in the address, I'm going to paste by selecting control, v, control and V at the same time on my keyboard or right clicking on my mouse and pasting. I'm then going to click insert. If I want to verify that this is in fact the correct link, I can hold down the control button and left click on my mouse and it will open the website. And obviously that is the correct website. If you're unsure of that, you can check the day's challenge in Canvas as the website will be posted there. The next thing you need to do is to add a picture from Bing. So again, I'm going to enter a couple of times to generate some more space for myself. I'm going to select the picture option. The, on the drop down, I'm going to select Bing. Bing will by default search the Creative Commons. So you can search right here by typing in your search terms, or you can select on the predefined categories and you can just select a picture from there. So I'm just going to grab the picture of an apple and I'm going to click insert and that picture will be inserted into my document. I can always of course resize that by selecting the buttons. I can rotate if I would like to edit that picture in some way, but all you need to do is put a general picture from Bing into your document. The last thing you will need to do is to change your document name from the default document, or in this case, document eight, by clicking up here. And you will need to call that some original title. I'm just going to call this Techmas Day 7 and fix my typo. And that saves automatically. So if I just click off of that into space somewhere, it will save that document. And just like Google Docs, the online version of Microsoft Word is saving at all times. So by using this feature, you greatly eliminate the problem of lost documents and documents that have not saved correctly. If you have any questions on this process, please let me know.